a very strong curve, wants to come from the sidelines. Well, Dragon is already down to less than half HP. Connex coming in, and it will in fact be Alliance again. That one TP Kurt will finally be getting in there. In fact, use, uh, using his teleport, he's going to try and come around the back of them. Can this work for Millennium? Very important. Alliance burned through their flashes and multiple ultimates. Millennium have started the There's fight. The knock up from Kevin, and here comes uh, Kurt from the backside. Nip's going to go low. They want Tap Zone. They get tapped as well. It's Creatson that takes down Nip. Kevin here may have a go at Froggen. Nip will dive onto him. Zonius is there for Froggen. And in the end, that won't work out for him. But Kevin slashed in. Knockup comes around as well. And that will be four for two in favor of Millennium. And they managed to hold on to that tower. Ah, right, yes. Really picking that one. Oh, Dark Binding landing on Salivar. Stun's going to go through as well. Salivar just melted on the tower. Such a good pick on from SD. He's going to spare low. Freddy almost out of mana. Zaz is in trouble. Zaz has ultimate burn on towards him, but he's very tanky. Sven Skeren's going to follow through. Jankos comes back in towards him. Meanwhile, overpower off the left hand side of the screen. He's creating a distraction. And SK split targeted there. Not really sure which way to go. Now Jankos using the kick. Colin back off cooldown. Gets straight on towards it. Gets himself one. Gets himself two. Freddy caught out around the side. He's going down as well. He's trying to tank his way through this one. The sustain is strong, but he will eventually fall to Zaz. Then the blade of the room. King. We'll touch on that in a second, and this is going to turn into a 2v2. Oh, there's a kick on towards Peke. Peke may well be in trouble. He is going to go down. Impaler will surely follow with this one, though. And there's the TP. Yellow Star appears as well. And that will be the double kill for Cyanide. And again, Fnatic reading them like a book. Yellow Star appearing, appearing out of seemingly nowhere. Finisher there onto Wicked, and look at this Rockat not standing still. They're actually going to go for Froggen here. They've got Selva and Overpower. There's the knockup though. Ulti comes out of Froggen. Is he going to get the kill? He will. And flashes away. The kick from Chuck comes in as well. Overpower's now going to struggle as he'll body slam out. One more kill needs to land here from Chuck as Overpower goes straight through the minion line. Ben and there is the kill landing. Oh, flash from Overpower. Last second. He just missed him, and he walked away without his passive being popped. Rocket staying around here. Dragon is alive, but a lot of members from Alliance are going for Nif. Oh, they're going to go straight towards Nif. The Kali coming out. Overpower gets that one. Wicked's in the middle of them, but he might be in danger as well. If turned towards Shock, he will go down to Celebr. Now Tab on his own on the top side, along with Wicked. Wicked gets stunned up. He's going to flash actually nicely into that raid camp, but he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah. And Celebr follows through with a flash, the heal for the speed boost, and gets another kill. So again, you're just going to see the replay here. Notice Vanda going. For Shook by himself, nobody else follows. Wicked goes into the Dragon Pit or into Baron Pit. There's no coordination from Rocket. Yanga stays Boom. jumping around. There's nothing here. Froggen kills two people by himself. Saz has jumped out to try and kill Shook, but why do you even care about the jungle at this moment when there's an Yasuo just killing your entire team? So there's so much focus from Rocket onto Shook, even though he wasn't even about stealing the Baron now. It was about actually a real team fight. There's so many free kills from Alliance. I mean, completely, the wave is coming. Kubo Nova is top lane without teleport. Will be able to take the tower, but they need to defend here. Oh, they're gonna go for Impaler. There's a knockup though from Selfie on towards Lolex. Can they actually get the kill? There's a lot of damage. Here comes the rest of the team. Nick's gonna go down as well. And this is a problem for Gambit once again. Genja will be focused. Good Bomber won't keep Genja alive long enough. Mimo will chase Edward away. And maybe even Selfie can get onto him. Nope, not quite enough. And that's up in the middle. Oh, Doc Mining's hit. Catching on towards him, Wild Growth Fuse, is it enough to save him? The shields, the safeguard, everything coming through, Jay Ree's gonna go down, Airwax will get himself the kill there, Kautard paid the price great and takes a couple of tower hits, Kurt so, so low and Limited fancies it, and he may well get it, oh, the Sonic Wave, belly slammed away there, the ultimate comes out from Kondex, he's gonna take a lot of the kill in Airwax this time around, Kurt is running for his life and he may well be able to get away, he goes back aggressive on towards Limited, takes him down, slams him, the, the Summoner is heal. running, the Summoner heal comes out, the Kurt gets away with it like a big fat man. They just catch Millennium out of position. Look how confident Reardon's Woolite not is. There. Millennium are in trouble. Woolite going in towards this one. Pops on towards Jerry. Connex locks on towards him. But he's just got so much damage and life steal and sustain. He just keeps on fighting through it. Taking one down. Taking two down. Kevin's going to get popped down. That's another drop. This is the Copenhagen Wolves surely taking victory. Yeah, there's super minions on the Nexus turrets. And that's going to be an ace for one. Maybe two of Kevin can get the last hit. Doesn't look like it. Millennium just get melted in the mid lane.
fantastic match for Fnatic. They're moving in. So has caught out, but the rest of Fnatic are reacting to this one. So as might be able to get away with the Dragon Descent over towards the Tribush. He is clear. Yellowstar throws out the hook, lands it on Svenska and follows it through, throws down. Quick Lantern comes out, Reckless joins the party. Vaultbreaker and Assault Battery on towards him, but Svenska once again focuses Reckless and pays the price with his life. Freddy goes down, double for Reckless, triple for Reckless, and he's just cleaning up SK Gaming right now. Thanks to another Lantern. And if you noticed, actually, it was Reckless over the wall that condemned him against the wall. Oh, Becky! Hey, up! Rollo is a quick alley up over the uh, wall and catches him. Gets a little chuckle for that one.